Yeah, we're getting this conversation in between us. There's no cameras, is there? Yeah, there's one there looking to. You make one mistake with you, know, but uh... You don't even have to make a mistake. No, it's no, no, we have to be sure. If you're, if you're going to say, then you're going to tell him, frame, 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 and lose. Today, we're diving into one of the most controversial topics in the world of snooker. We're comparing the infamous cases of John Higgins and Stephen Lee. While both have faced severe allegations and punishments, we're here to uncover why some believe that Higgins' actions were even worse than those of Stephen Lee. The snooker world was rocked by two major scandals involving these top players. Both John Higgins and Stephen Lee were implicated in match-fixing activities, leading to severe repercussions that tarnished their careers. Stephen Lee, once celebrated for his smooth cue action, saw his career crash in 2012 when he was banned for 12 years after being found guilty of fixing seven matches between 2008 and 2009. This ban, the longest in snooker history at the time, was a result of Lee conspiring with betting syndicates to manipulate match outcomes for financial gain. I'm doing an exclusive in the paper, uh, waiting to confirm that this afternoon, um, and I've just dropped my books down to a, a lawyer QC um, this morning. Uh, I'm absolutely devastated with what's happened here. In contrast, John Higgins, a three-time world champion, was embroiled in a scandal following a sting operation by the News of the World in 2010. Higgins was caught on tape agreeing to lose specific frames in future matches for £261,000. Unlike Lee, Higgins' involvement was seen as a single lapse in judgment rather than a systematic pattern of corruption. He received a six-month ban and a $75,000 fine, a punishment some deemed lenient. If I'm guilty of anything, it is of naivety and trusting those who I believe were working in the best interests of Snooker and myself. The disparity in the punishments handed to Higgins and Lee sparked significant debate. Higgins received a six-month ban and a fine, while Lee was banned for 12 years. This discrepancy raised questions about the consistency of disciplinary actions in snooker. Some argued that Higgins' cooperation and his claim of being coerced played a role in his lighter sentence, whereas Lee's repeated offences and collaboration with multiple betting syndicates warranted a harsher punishment. The match-fixing scandals had devastating effects on the careers of both John Higgins and Stephen Lee. Lee's 12-year ban essentially ended his professional snooker career, stripping him of his ranking and barring him from competing in or attending any WPBSA-affiliated events. Despite his talent and previous successes, Lee's legacy is now overshadowed by his involvement in match-fixing. On the other hand, Higgins managed to resume his career after serving his ban and continued to compete at a high level. However, the scandal left a permanent mark on his reputation, with some fans and fellow players viewing him with suspicion and disappointment. Stephen Lee's troubles extended beyond the snooker table. In 2014, he was fined for failing to deliver a cue he had sold online, and later faced legal issues in Hong Kong for teaching snooker without a permit. These incidents further tarnished his image and highlighted the ongoing challenges he faced even after his ban. Lee's inability to stay out of legal trouble indicated deeper issues that plagued his post-snooker life. Financial pressures and potential addictions are believed to have played significant roles in both Higgins's and Lee's decisions to engage in unethical behavior. Reports suggested that Lee was heavily in debt, possibly due to maintaining a lifestyle beyond his means. This financial strain likely drove him to collaborate with betting syndicates. Higgins, on the other hand, was implicated in the sting operation while already being a successful player, raising questions about his motivations. Some speculate that fear and coercion, rather than financial desperation, influenced his actions. Despite the scandal, John Higgins managed to rehabilitate his career and continued to find success in snooker. After serving his six-month ban, Higgins returned to the professional circuit and won several titles, including multiple world championships. His ability to bounce back and perform at a high level demonstrated his resilience and skill. However, the shadow of a scandal continued to follow him, with some fans and critics questioning his integrity. Before we move on, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Stephen Lee's attempts to return to professional snooker were fraught with challenges. Despite the expiration of his ban in 2024, Lee faced significant obstacles, including the loss of his ranking and the need to qualify through Q-School. 
His advanced age and lack of competitive match practice further hindered his prospects. Additionally, Lee's tarnished reputation and the stigma associated with his match-fixing activities make a comeback unlikely. The media coverage and public perception of the scandals involving John Higgins and Stephen Lee played crucial roles in shaping their respective narratives. Higgins, despite his serious transgression, managed to garner some sympathy due to his claims of coercion and fear. The media often portrayed him as a victim of circumstances, which helped mitigate the backlash. In contrast, Lee's extensive involvement in match-fixing and subsequent legal troubles painted him as a repeat offender, leading to harsher public condemnation. The involvement of bookmakers and betting syndicates in the match-fixing activities of Stephen Lee underscores the complexity of corruption in sports. Lee's collaboration with multiple groups to fix match outcomes for financial gain highlighted the sophisticated nature of these illegal operations. I tweeted that last week and got widely abused for it, but I think I'm onto something. You know, the frame's over, let's rack them up and let's go. Okay. The role of these external entities not only facilitated Lee's actions, but also raised concerns about the broader impact of gambling on sports integrity. The World Professional Billiards and Snooker Association WPBSA, played a pivotal role in investigating and disciplining both John Higgins and Stephen Lee. Their thorough investigations led to significant bans and fines, reflecting the seriousness with which they treated match-fixing allegations. The WPBSA's actions in these cases were aimed at preserving the sport's integrity and sending a strong message that unethical behavior would not be tolerated. The match-fixing scandals involving John Higgins and Stephen Lee had far-reaching implications for the integrity of snooker. These incidents eroded public trust in the sport, leading to increased scrutiny and calls for stricter regulations. The scandals highlighted vulnerabilities within the sport and underscored the need for robust measures to prevent and detect unethical behavior. The reactions from fellow players and the broader snooker industry to the scandals involving Higgins and Lee were mixed. Some players expressed disappointment and called for harsher penalties to deter future infractions, while others showed sympathy, particularly towards Higgins, citing the pressure and challenges of professional sports. The industry response included the implementation of stricter monitoring and educational programs aimed at preventing match-fixing. John Higgins' defense during the scandal centered around claims of coercion and fear for his safety. He maintained that he went along with the plan out of a sense of self-preservation rather than greed. Higgins issued public apologies, expressing regret for his actions and the damage caused to the sport. His statements and cooperation during the investigation were factors that likely contributed to the relatively lenient punishment he received. Stephen Lee consistently denied any wrongdoing and appealed against the WPBSA's findings and the 12-year ban imposed on him. His appeals were ultimately dismissed, and Lee's persistent denials did little to mitigate the damage to his reputation. The repeated legal battles and his refusal to admit guilt further entrenched public and professional sentiment against him. Managers and agents played significant roles in the scandals involving John Higgins and Stephen Lee. Higgins' manager, Pat Mooney, was implicated in the sting operation, raising questions about the influence and responsibilities of those managing top players. The involvement of managers and agents in such activities highlights the broader network of influence that can contribute to unethical behavior in sports. In conclusion, while both John Higgins and Stephen Lee committed serious offenses that tarnished their careers, the scale and impact of their actions differ significantly. Lee's extensive match-fixing activities arguably caused more harm to the integrity of the sport, while Higgins' scandal, although serious, was seen as a singular lapse in judgment. The repercussions of these actions continue to influence the snooker world, reminding us of the importance of integrity in sports. And that's all for this video. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. For more snooker content, click on the screen right now.